Hi guys, Football Manager, YouthDevelopment.co.uk here. Welcome back to our West Ham Survival Series. In this episode, we will, be, we will be playing a game against Chelsea. If you haven't yet caught up with the last episode, we had a really, really good win against Liverpool where we won that game 2-1. Just recently, we have been doing quite well with getting points on the board. We've managed to get seven points out of a possible nine. And we're now actually only six points off the other places that are not in the relegation zone. We are now in well into January on this save file and as you can see I have started to make some transfers into the team. I'm going to show you the guy that we've bought in in a little while but you can see here that I've cleared out a few players just to get rid of some dead wood. So yeah, Jaskalainen's gone. Um, I wouldn't ordinarily do it but um, I, had, I did offer these players out for transfer and no teams were biting at all. So what I decided to do is just release them on free transfers. Now this did cost me a lot of money. Um, in some cases it was about half a million just to release them or kind of like end their contracts. But you know, considering that I'm only going to be doing this um, particular save file just until the end of the season just you know like as a survival challenge um, yeah really didn't mind doing that just to kind of free up some funds just to make sure that we got some money to spend in the January transfer window and just obviously to make sure that we're you know giving ourselves the best opportunity to um, survive in the Premier League. We'll just quickly take a look at the guy that I managed to bring on on loan. So yeah, got this guy in from Napoli on loan just until the end of the season. Now, predominantly, I will probably use him in the ball winner midfielder position. You can see here that he's got brilliant aggression, really, really good bravery and quite good at tackling for his age as well at 20. His main kind of thing that I saw in this guy was his really high work work rate. And we can see he's got a passing attribute of 14 as well. He's really, really strong, got really, really good stamina as well. So this guy, I think, can probably play... You know, potentially his best position is probably going to be a ball in midfielder, as it says here. But I would have absolutely no problem at all using him maybe as like a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, so maybe he'll probably be cover for Alex Song if we need a little bit of cover um, just in that position. Or potentially, you know, if Mark Noble might be unfit, then this guy will, you know, kind of step up to the plate and hopefully he'll do quite well. There's a few other players that I'm interested in as well. I'll just show you really quickly the finances for the club. So... You can see here that we are actually in, um, yeah, near enough four and a half million pounds worth of debt. In terms of like budgets and things that we've got, we have um, a wage budget of nine hundred and thirty-two grand, and our we're currently spending eight hundred and seventy grand a week on wages. So we do have a, you know, a little bit of money to kind of play with if you like, but unfortunately we can't really do too much in terms of like the transfer budget. The the trouble is when we're sort of signing players on in on loan. Um, yeah, that is going to eat into our transfer budget. So we do need to leave a little bit in that pot um, just to kind of, you know, any players that we are bringing in, we just need to make sure we've got a little bit of money there. So, yeah, um, see, see how it goes, really. I think hopefully we'll be able to bring a few new faces in anyway. So, yeah, now we are going to be playing against Chelsea. What I'm going to do, I'll just make some, you know, really, really quick changes to the squad. Just make sure I'm kind of happy with our starting lineup. Just before we go into the Chelsea game, I'll just kind of speak through my team selection and um, just so you can guys just so you guys can kind of see how you know the players that I've picked and why I've picked them. Okay, yeah, so I've just made a few quick changes to our starting lineup for today's team. I've decided to bring in Diego Poya. I was just having a really quick look at his work rate and his tackling attributes. He's, he's also got really, really good passing as well. I think as we're playing Chelsea, we're gonna have to be, you know, kind of like really busy if you like in the middle of the park. And certainly with Noble with his work rate of 18, we've also got the new guy in on loan with his work rate of 17 and also obviously Diego Poet who I just showed you uh, with the work rate of 14. We've got players in the middle who are going to be working really, really hard for us. Um, as well, what I decided to do was we've got Sacco up front. He's got work rate of 17. I'm going to be using this guy as a target man. I think that's certainly going to be quite a good thing for us to do in this particular game. Uh, I'm also what I've also decided to do is change the team structure or team shape to be more structured. I think when you're playing teams that are a lot better, well, a lot better than you, um, especially when you're away from home as well, it's going to be really, really important that we kind of keep our shape and just make sure that we don't, you know, kind of be too sloppy if you like. We just need to make sure that we're kind of retaining possession of the ball as best as possible. We're making the most of our, you know, kind of strongest areas. So we, we are still going to be exploiting the flanks um, as we're really, really strong down the wings. I've also just put here to just be more disciplined as well. I think the best thing for us really in this Chelsea game is just to make sure that we don't get absolutely ham hammered. You know, if, if we come out of this game and we're, 
you know, <laughs> kind of pretty smashed. And that's obviously not going to be a very, very good thing for us at all. So, yeah, we'll get into this game now. I'm just um, going to have to go through a couple of days here and then we'll get into this game. I thought it was on the Saturday, but obviously, um, yeah, this game's on the Sunday. Um, obviously, in the last game, we did play Liverpool and I was really, really happy with the result that we managed to get against Liverpool. We, you know, I, I really... In all honesty, I wasn't expecting to get a win from Liverpool. You know, I, I did try a few things out just to make sure that we could, um, you know, put ourselves in the very, very best position to, you know, try and get get the points on the board. But I certainly do think in this Chelsea game, I'm, I'm definitely not expecting anything at all. But certainly if we can, um, I mean, even at, at this particular stage, I would just say any anything, um, yeah, any points that we can kind of get would be like really, really helpful. So... Um, yeah, just going to go through this transfer as well. So I did try to get this guy in on loan. Um, really, really did like his flair. He's got really, really good pace. Um, good crossing, good dribbling. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to have any money, unfortunately. I did try to put the transfer on hold for a week just to sort of see if we could free up any um, you know, transfer funds. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm going to have to cancel that um, transfer, unfortunately. I think he would have been quite a good player for us just on the wing. But yeah, unfortunately, that one's not going to happen. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to cancel that. I'm certainly going to be looking for some other players to bring into the club. It's certainly going to have to be loan players, I think, now, unfortunately. So, yeah, just the position that we're in. Uh, just waiting for this, Chelsea. Okay, so, yeah, we'll just get straight into this game now. I'm going to submit the team. I'm happy with my team selection at the moment. Just need to give the new guy a squad number as well. Uh, number, number 12 sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, obviously going to be a really, really tough game today. Um, we're now seven points behind Everton, but they've obviously got a game in hand. Looks like they might have drawn their last game, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how we get on here. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed we'll, we'll do okay. So what I'm going to do in the team talk, I'm just going to go for passionate. And really, really good thing that I can do here is just say we owe Chelsea after what happened. And, you know, that we need to get revenge. Now, the good thing about this, what I'll be able to do, obviously, it's a kind of local derby um, as well against Chelsea. So we can see here that the reaction of the players are all looking happy and motivated. Um, things like this. So, yeah, we'll start this game. I'll just make sure the sounds are not on. Um, I'm happy with the key highlights. So, yeah, let's let's just see how we get on. We've got, um, you know, everybody's quite fit and the morale of the players is quite good. But obviously, we're up against a really, really good Chelsea team here. So, you can see the tactic that I spoke about in the kind of build up to this game of being really, really busy in the middle of the park. And you can see here that, you know, we're we're making sure that we're getting on top of Chelsea really early. We, you can see that we were making a few tackles in the middle of the park just to make sure that we don't give Chelsea any time on the ball. Um, you know, we have to be really, really quick at closing them down just like we were there. And um, yeah, hopefully we can continue to do that throughout the game. But, you know, we can't really give Chelsea a moment's peace. Um, you know, the tactic, as you can see here, guys, is really, really working. And um, we're just making sure that we're on top of Chelsea as soon as they get the ball. Whether we can keep it up for 90 minutes, I'm not too sure. Um, certainly like to think we, we might be able to do that. Um, but yeah, it looks like Chelsea are going to be doing exactly the same to us here. So... So yeah, Chelsea have a break and yeah, unfortunately Diego cost, oh, excellent. So yeah, that was offside. Um, I was going to say it's been a little bit of a shame. Obviously, we haven't really had any clear kind of cut chances yet, but we've certainly not played too bad to be um, losing this one just yet. Um, so yeah, we hopefully are going to be clearing the ball here. We might be actually able to catch Chelsea on the counter-attack. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen um, and Diego Costa's got the ball here. Really good tackle. We have to be very, very careful not to give away a penalty. And our goalkeeper makes a really good save from a shot from Eden Hazard. I think coming up to the 30-minute mark now, we're certainly not being kind of pushed around in this game, which is really, really good. So I'm going to encourage the players. You know, we, we are actually doing quite well against Chelsea here. Obviously, our, our ratings are not kind of too good at the moment. That's simply because we haven't, you know, been on the ball much and we're... You know, we're not actually having many shots or anything like that. But, you know, if we can... Yeah, so I think that goal was coming pretty much all along. Um, so, yeah, we can see there that Chelsea won their up now. It's going to be quite difficult, I think. And it, it's a kind of the type of game it's just... You have to really just take your chances if you get them. You know, Chelsea were always going to have a lot of chances in this game. Uh, especially being at home. And, you know, like I said at the beginning, it's kind of a bit of a write-off. I think, as weird as it sounds, going in 1-0 down at half-time could kind of be a little bit of an advantage to us. 
Um, because what I'm going to be able to do is just show me something else in the second half. And what what you can see here, the reaction of the players are all fired up. So, yeah, as weird as it does sound, like going in one nil down um, at half time is not necessarily the worst thing in the world because you can fire the players up as a result of that. And what we'll be able to do, you know, if we do manage to get maybe one or two chances, hopefully the the players will be able to take them. Um, we're certainly going to have to just kind of see how we are getting on. I'm, I'm kind of half waiting for the 60 minute mark here. So yeah, we've actually only had one shot. Um, what I'm going to have to do is just make sure that we're at least trying to get some shots on target here. We certainly can't go through the rest of this game without having absolutely no shots on target at all. Um, so I'm going to take off the Be More Disciplined. I think that's really all I can do. I, I can't really think of much more that I can kind of try in this game. I think it's one of them games because we are losing just 1-0 at this stage of the game. It doesn't really matter if we do lose kind of like 2 or 3-0. We might as well just kind of go for it. So I'm just going to go be more expressive and um, yeah, go more attacking as well. There's a few players that have not really performed that well in this game for us. You can see like all the front lot have not really been been that good. Um, I'll just see if I can make a really, really quick substitution. So I think it might be quite a good idea to get Ravel Morrison on the pitch. Um, certainly he can, you know, he's got a little bit little bit of flair, you know, something a little bit about him as well. So, you know, fingers crossed he might be able to do something for us. I think it's a little bit too early to be bringing Valencia back into the game. But what I might do is bring on Stuart Downing um, for Alpha Matano. He's got 6.3 average rating, so he's not really doing that well for us in this game and certainly we've got nothing to lose by bringing Stuart down and into this game so yeah last 10 minutes we'll we'll see if we can manage any kind of shots or anything like that um yeah I'm trying to just kind of do a few things here and um, just sort of see if we can at least get a couple of shots or something away um in this game but yeah Chelsea were just kind of too quick to break us down really and um, they've got Hazard on the ball here we're still doing quite well just to close Chelsea down and just make sure they don't have um, loads of shots. That was a really, really good save. Double save from our goalkeeper there, which uh, gives Chelsea the corner, which Wellington then is taken, and we managed to get the ball away. Um, we still can't really get on the ball here, unfortunately. We're we're kind of really, really getting into Chelsea, and you know, kind of not giving them too much time on the ball, but we're just not really giving ourselves too much opportunity to get on the ball ourselves, which is which is quite a shame. We oh wow, we got a penalty here, guys, right at the death of the game. Um, I think it'll be Mark Noble probably taking this. Uh, no, it's Zarate. And yes, fantastic. So brilliant. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to completely shut up shop. We don't deserve this at all. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic if we do manage to come away with this. Um, yeah, from this game with a one all draw against Chelsea. So you can see what I've done there, guys. I've just completely shut up shop. So I'm just going to go control, more structured. Um, yeah, I've just gone for lower tempo, be more disciplined, stick to the positions. Um, yeah, and just basically like play play a little bit of keep ball. Um, I really, really weren't expecting that, and it's completely against the run of play. And if I was managing Chelsea, I'd be like absolutely gutted. Um, yeah, our, we've only had like literally like one shot in the whole game, I think. Um, yeah, we've had one clear cut chance, which is obviously the penalty. Chelsea have had 27 shots. Um, they've had 13 on target. We've had three shots, one on target. As weird as it sounds, our average rating on you know on average is actually better than Chelsea's. I think you know because we have actually defended quite well. I think it's um, you know I, th I think that's the thing that's kind of helping us do all right here. So yeah, um, okay. So let's confirm that. I'm just making some additional changes as well, just to kind of run the clock down a little bit more. What I might also do, oh, be an absolute gutted if they score here. So down and with the header away. So Hazard, oh, crap. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, guys, we do concede right at the death there. Um, you can see how many players Chelsea did have in the box there. It's absolutely gutting, really. Um, yeah, the ball just kind of yeah goes through our goalkeeper. And yeah, we we're probably not going to be getting any like a point here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, to be honest, at, at the end of the game, obviously it wasn't deserved at all, but I am actually really, really gutted that we didn't manage to get a point um, out of that game. Obviously, all I can really do is just say that, um, yeah, we're the, we were the underdogs and we have given it our best shot. So I think given the circumstances, that's probably the best thing, thing that I could have done. 
Um, unfortunately, Aston Villa um, have one as well. They were their 18th in the league. So just going to double check the league table. So we are slightly getting cut adrift, unfortunately. Obviously, Chelsea, we weren't expected to win that game. Um, so yeah, the next game's coming up. We're going to be looking to win them and you know just try and get some more points on the board. Um, just have a really, really quick look at the fixtures. So yeah, we've got some kind of winnable games. You've got Crystal Palace, Hull, um, Swansea away. Hopefully we can get a couple of, you know, like a point out of that. Um, you know, got West Brom, Sunderland. So yeah, things should be okay. Um, yeah, a little bit gutted, I must admit, at the end of that, not to get the three points. Uh, sorry, the, the point from Chelsea, but yeah. Um, on to the next game anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode anyway, guys. And we'll be back very, very soon for some more in this series. Thanks for watching.